dirty, no good, down to the bone. Your worst. Hey everybody, Claudine and I'm here and today I'm doing a review on the Disney Descendants. Yes, that's right, Disney Channel Descendants, J, Isle of the Lost by Hasbro. And he is a doll, of course, and it says Disney Store because it's only at the Disney Store. So you can get this doll at thedisneystore.com, it's where I got it. I'm not sure if it's in stores yet, but it's definitely online. So here it is, and it says ages six and up. And as we can see, the box has like this ombre effect design and it has his Cobra um, logo on the side over here and it's kind of indented so you can feel it. And then the box itself has like his Cobra with his shoes over there because his shoes are off. And on the back of the box, of course, it has J. So, I'm not sure what that is. Let's see what that is. But it says J, Isle of the Lost, son of Jafar, one of the fighting knights. And then down here is like a sticker that came with. It says Rabbit, Geppetto, and Dumbo. And I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, kind of random sticker there. <laughs> and then it also gives the price up here. It's $22.95 in the US and $24.95 in Canada. So now let's just debox him so I can get into a depth and detailed review. So here is Descendants J deboxed and as we can see starting from his boots all the way up to his long flowy hair he has these plastic boots that are molded pretty nicely. Um, they have a bit of paint splatters around to give it that depth and detailed look. He has like this faux leather jumpsuit. I'm not even sure if yet. Oh yeah, it is detachable. So the pants are detachable from the shirt. However, it's really baggy and the zippers are not real. They're just printed on. So his shirt is like this vest type thing and it's leather and again, the zippers are fake. Um, and then over here it has the collar with the blue inner corner and then the collar itself is yellow and then if I turn him around so you can see he has the Cobra on his back and it's velcro and then he has a bracelet which is just like this bracelet <laughs> it has nothing on it I figured it may have like a Cobra or something on it but it doesn't and then he has one hand that's gloved so he is articulate at the shoulders at the elbows at the knees at the thighs and at the feet but he's not posable at the hand. Well, he's also posable at the head. And then I really like his face sculpt, to be honest. His hair is kind of messy for me. Um, it's nylon hair, but it's pretty straight. It, it looks pretty sleek and everything, if you notice that. And his eyes are pretty oriental, and he has very big brows. He looks a bit more like Aladdin than Jafar, to be very honest with you. But I really do like this doll. It's pretty awesome. Um, I would not really recommend buying it at the $24 price or the $22 price, only because it's literally just a doll. I mean, no accessories, no bag, nothing really included, not even in the hat that he may wear in the movie. Um, he's still a cool doll though, so if you're a die-hard Descendants fan, or you want it as a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, definitely a must-buy, because he is a really cool doll to have in your collection, and it's great to see him with the rest of the Descendants. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you thought of Jay, and subscribe. See ya!